What is up you guys? It's Abby and today's video is all about how to start your semester off strong. It's officially August and it's almost time to go back to school and if you chose the right school to go to you're probably pretty excited to go back and see all your friends. I'm super excited to go back to school. I don't know about you guys but I am. But along with going to school to see all your friends comes with actually going to school. So here are my tips for how to start your semester off strong. I'm pretty sure I say this in literally every video I have about college, but get a planner. Go buy a planner and write everything down so you can be organized. There is nothing like starting off the semester and writing down all the things you have to do so that you are completely organized. Planners rock. And I know I say that all the time, so if you don't have a planner yet, I think it's time that you take my word for it. Set a bedtime for yourself. I know this sounds so babyish. Seriously, set a bedtime for yourself. Go to bed at a decent hour. Don't stay up until two o'clock in the morning every day. Get some real sleep. Don't literally start your semester by draining yourself on purpose. Get up right when your alarm clock goes off. That is easier said than done, but I found that when I get in the habit of literally jumping out of bed the second my alarm clock goes off, I don't want to go back to bed. And I used to do that in high school all the time. I would set my alarm clock and the second it went off, I would just jump out of bed so that I would not want to go back to bed and hit snooze. As much as it may seem like this isn't true, hitting snooze actually does make you more tired. So just save yourself the exhaustion and get up when your alarm clock goes off. And with that new bedtime you set, you shouldn't be tired anyway, right guys? Schedule some time to study and do your homework. This would go great in your planner that you're gonna buy. If you don't wanna study by yourself, make some study groups. Study groups can be fun because they can involve pizza and other foods. And other people in your classes probably caught things that you didn't know, and they probably can explain things that you don't understand. So study groups can be really beneficial to studying, and I really recommend them not only for the food, but a lot of the reason is because of the food. This is another thing I say in almost every video I make, set some me time because you will just thank me later. Set goals for yourself and set dates that you wish to achieve those goals by. I find that setting goals for myself really helps me get things done. And my last tip is to set some high standards for yourself. That goes for with your grades, with your friends, in relationships. Don't sell yourself short and set high standards for yourself because you deserve amazing things. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.